But you always hear me say, list it and forget it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about a big money bolo. But what's really cool about this one is it has a little story behind it. And this happened probably a year and a half ago, I think is what she said. Maybe a little longer. It feels like a long time ago. But you always hear me say, list it and forget it. All right. Well, here is a good example of that, of a big money bolo. But let me just show you. I'm going to go across a bunch of tabs of items in this category that sell for big bucks. All right. Let's start with story time. And probably close to a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I was watching a video on YouTube of an unboxing. And the unboxing was from N-E-J-P. That is what her name is on Whatnot. She is now on Whatnot. And um, she was doing a video on YouTube where she had bought a dog lot from Donatella Bottolino. Now, what is a dog lot? A dog lot is a bunch of stuffed animals that Donatella felt were not resellable. Um, they were just more for your animals. And she'd bundle them all up and she would sell them to resellers on her YouTube channel for a low price and free shipping. And then they would give them to their dogs, essentially. Well, I was watching this dog lot unboxing and I'm like, oh my goodness, that one is a bolo. Is, is there something wrong with it? Does it need, like, can you fix it up? And she said there was a stain on it and she was able to clean up this plush. All right. So again, that's N-E-J-P. She's over on Whatnot. Go give her a follow. Um, if you guys have not checked out Whatnot, it's absolutely awesome. Um, I'm selling over there. Lots and lots of people are heading over to Whatnot and incorporating that into their reselling business. Um, most people are still doing the other platforms as well, but some have given them up completely. So I'm not doing that. I'm still selling everywhere. My normal places, um, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and now whatnot. If you want to get on whatnot or come check out a video, um, not really a video, a live stream that I'm doing, an auction, please go down below to the um, description and you can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot. And I would love for you to come hang out in the chat. Uh, so I said she bought it from Donna Telebottolino on YouTube and Donna has also gone over to whatnot. So uh, she is Donatella on whatnot. So be sure to check her out there as well. Are you ready to see the item that sold from the dog lot for big money? It is this right here. And I am going to tell you to definitely be on the lookout for terry cloth stuffed animals. Terry cloth. That is the material of the stuffed animal. Another good one is like the parachute material. Always look those up as well. But look at this little cutie. So it had a stain on it and she was able to get the stain out. Now, here's the best part of the story. She had this item cross posted, which I highly recommend everybody do. Um, I start my items on eBay and I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. And I recently just did another updated video on this. It's called cross post with me. So you guys can check that out. But anyway, she listed it. She cross posted it and on eBay, she kept reducing the price. The item was down to $44 on eBay. And like many, our main platform, we work and our second, third, fourth, fifth platforms, you know, we may not give as much attention to. So this sat on Poshmark and was never reduced and it sold for $89 on Poshmark. So this was listed on eBay for $44, same item, and sold on Poshmark for $89. So that's one reason that I tell you guys, get your items on other platforms because there are different people looking on different platforms. People that shop on Poshmark do not necessarily shop on eBay. And this is a prime example of that. And I'm going to show you a whole bunch of Terry Cobb Terry cloth bolo items to be on the lookout for. There's certain ones that sell better than others. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, she said she never marked it down on Poshmark. And, you know, it just goes to say, list it and forget it. 
Uh, I use List Perfectly to cross post. There are other cross posting services. I've been with List Perfectly since 2019. I absolutely love it. If you want to check out a video on how it works, I have one down in the description that actually shows you how to use the catalog and how to cross post like I do. There's so many different ways you can use it. They just came out with the Pro Plus plan. So they are growing and adding more and more features. So definitely check that out. You can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month. All right, so let's take a peek at some more Terry Cloth Bolos. But here is hers, my first Teddy. You will find that a lot of times when they say my first Teddy, my first Christmas, different things like that, those are the ones that kids lose and parents are looking to replace. Let's see. Here we go. Here's one. This one is by TB Trading Company. And you're going to see a wide variety of brands, but one brand in particular does better than others. So this is the same terry cloth material. You're going to want to put terry cloth material. Another good thing you can do is put sewn eyes. Uh, a lot of people look for uh, toys for babies. And they don't want the eyes that are hard plastic. They want the sewn eyes. So you they will search by putting sewn eyes into the title. Not everybody does it. It's just a little tip. This one sold for $74.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Here is another one. This one is a gunned 1983 draft. It's terry cloth and it squeaks. And it is a harder to find one based on what this person said. I guess I didn't research it, but it does say rare, hard to find in the title. $83.97 for that one. The next one is this kids preferred yellow terry cloth star-shaped bear plush sweet dreams stuffed. And this one has the original tags on it. Yes, you can typically charge more for your items if they have the original tags. $114.95 for this one. This is also vintage. Um, from 2003. So how I would have done this, I would have put, um, I would not have used the word new. I would not have listed it as new unless I pulled it out of a bag and it had never been um, exposed to other people. Um, that's what I do for plush, even if it has tags. So I put pre-owned with tags for my plush. Let me know down in the comments what you guys do if you find a plush that is new with tags. All right, the next item here is this Eden Clown Stuffed Toy Terry Cloth Pastel Yarn Hair Plush. So what you're seeing is a lot of light colors, pastels, and Eden is a very, very popular brand. Let me see if they have, there's your tag right there, $121 on this one. Now, I have told you guys before that a good thing to do to see if the item actually sold is to check feedback. And you can see right here, you can go into the feedback, you can put the item number or you can put terry cloth plush and it is gonna pull up if there is feedback. This one sold for 121. The item was dispatched promptly and arrived in short time considering how far around the world it traveled. So I'm guessing this was an international sale. This is a zero feedback buyer. This was somebody who was looking for this item and they turned to eBay. Not all zero feedback buyers result in um, a non-payment. So I know a lot of you have said that you turn off. Um, you don't allow people to buy from you that have zero feedback. I do not do that personally. I feel like I sell a lot of stuff to people with zero feedback. Here's another one. It's by Eden also. It is a yellow green terry cloth plush. Again, you've got those pastel colors. This one is a lamb. Now this one's a little bit bigger. This one's 18 inches. And they also use the word lovey. Um, I typically use the word lovey when it's like a blanket, but I suppose this is probably more for a baby or a younger child. So they have used the word lovey in there. Here is one that is primary colors. So you can see they put primary colors in the title. Toy Works, that's what this one is by. Brown Elephant Vintage Velour Terry Cloth. And they also called it a lovey. And I wanted to take a peek at the tag if they show it. It does not, there it is, Toy Works. So that is not a brand that I see a whole lot of. This one sold for $149.99. I will say most of these did not have feedback. So what I did is I went in and verified that they did not relist the item. And that's how I verified that it was a good sale. Because typically, if you sell something and 
it doesn't get paid for, you relist it. Eden Vintage Pink Terry Cloth Waffle Weave Thermal Plush. So this one is a waffle weave, but it is still terry cloth material. It's a little lamb. It sold for $149.99. The next one is this Play School Snug Snuzzles Blankies Elephant Blue Terry Cloth Pastel, 1996. Hard to find. Again, that really soft terry cloth material with the pastel colors. Mercari and Poshmark are great platforms to sell plush on. Uh, I even feel like Etsy is really, really starting to be one to look at for vintage plush. 179 on this one. I keep seeing a lot of people doing Etsy and selling plush for big money over there. Here's a little terry cloth bear also by Eden. It says no rips, two small stains. Please see pictures. So this one has two small stains and it sold for $190. Uh, the seller does a good job of pointing out the stain right here. It's it's not easy to see. That's not a huge stain, but maybe some discoloration there. So good to point it out. $190 on that one. Here's another one. Uh, very, I think that might be the exact same. Yes, that's the same bear. So this bear is definitely a bolo. This one sold for $197 and the buyer paid shipping. Here is the little bunny rabbit. It is also by Eden. Look at the look how cute it is. And here is the tush tag. You can see it right there. And this one sold for 197 as well. Another bunny, 199.99. And another bunny. This one sold for 225. So can you price these high and be patient? Absolutely. And this one has the original tag. And this is TB Trading, and it's by Dan D. Soft Expressions, $399.95 on that one with free shipping. So we talked about Poshmark. That's where she sold hers. Um, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $10 to shop if you join with that when you join Poshmark. But also Mercari. I tell you guys all the time that Merc Mercari is an awesome platform to sell your plush on. So here's another bunny. Now, a lot of times plush will sell for more on Poshmark than they do. I'm sorry, on Mercari than they do on eBay. But this one sold for $280 and it sold for $399.95 on eBay. So they priced it higher on eBay and it sold for more. Um, so same one, $280 on Mercari. If you want to join Mercari, you can use my referral link down below. You will get uh, $10 when you join to shop and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So you can use that money to buy other items. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something else. So here is a vintage Eden pastel bunny. This one sold for $199. Here is another lamb also by Eden. It sold for $150. These are all Mercari sales. This little girl right here is a blonde hair, pink terry cloth yarn doll. And this one sold for $135 with free shipping. And Commonwealth Beanbag Hug a Plush Teddy Bear. Hold up. So they were holding that for someone. But here is the tag. It says Commonwealth, $150 plus shipping on that one. Here's another lamb. This one sold for $94. It's also Eden. And let me just show you. One thing that is great about Mercari is when you search solds, Mercari doesn't have returns. It doesn't have unpaids. You are automatically billed when you buy something from Mercari. So you can pretty confidently go and search solds, same with Poshmark, and know that those are good comps. So I have sorted low to high. And I also want to show you that Mercari can be a good place to source. So here's a Beatrice Potter, and it looks like it is terry cloth. It sold for 14 Here are a couple of the dolls, and they just didn't know. They priced it too low. $16, $17, $18, $18. These, these are by Eden. So now, did we see a whole lot of these that sold for crazy money? No, but I'm guessing probably more than those prices. I would have to go in and actually comp it. But let's see. Where was the one? There was one right here right there. Is that the same one? It's got a bonnet and yellow hair. I don't know if that's the same one, but that could be. It's a little bit different. 
So somebody could have been specifically looking for that one. This one may be harder to find. You do have to do your research. So maybe these did sell at the right price point. But definitely, definitely look. Here's one that went for 40. Um, there's the one. That one looks the same. That one went for 35. So somebody sold it for 35 here and 135 here. So they undersold it. And this person probably sold it really fast. This person maybe had to wait to sell it. Here's another little lamb by Lee Eden. We did see the pink lamb with the waffle. So I guess just to say that sourcing on Mercari is also something that you can do. Now, you can also search by highest price first. So if you're trying to learn which items to be on the lookout for, search highest sold. You see 199, 150, 135, 110, 94, 90 for this bunny. Here's this one in Eden Christmas Penguin that sold for 75. So this is a great way to uh, look at this. This is a little rattle, $45 for that. A great way to study and learn which items to sell. So definitely check out Poshmark and Mercari. Those referral links are down below. That's going to get you free money. And we all love free money. Okay, let me know down in the comments, did you know about this Bolo? And I am really happy that I watched her video and was able to tell her that that was a big money Bolo. And I'm also happy that she was patient and waited for the right buyer and didn't reduce it on Poshmark. But um, she got lucky because it could have sold for 45 on eBay and she sold it for big money on Poshmark. So go check her out on Whatnot. Check me out on Whatnot. Those links are down below. And as always, thanks for watching.